Hey everybody, this is Matt Fury coming to you from the show floor at NAB 2011, day one. Lots of really cool things happening here on the show. One of the big developments from Avid this year is Interplay Central. Now joining me right now are two of our key players from the Interplay development team, Sava and Ron Beer. Sava, tell us all about uh, Interplay Central and how it differs from the original Interplay. Well, Interplay Central really is a web browser-based application that can be used by journalists regardless of where they're working. So they can be in the newsroom, they can be out in the field, they're accessing it. It's a thin client application, so they don't need to have software loaded ahead of time. They can use a standard desktop or laptop machine, and it really gives them the flexibility to work that way and to bolt right into an existing iNews and Interplay infrastructure so customers can put it in and start working right away. Okay, Ron Beer, as the product designer for Interplay Central, when you sat down to develop this, did you take a lot from the existing Interplay or did you really just sort of start, for, start from scratch? It started completely from scratch. The idea here was we want to have an interface for users, for users' workflows, the way they want to do things unencumbered from the actual tool. So it's all about that and, and be a very, very rich experience. So it doesn't matter if it's web-based, it still should behave like a desktop client. Eh? And that's what we tried to do. Okay. So Sava, who do you see as uh, sort of the, the target customers for Interplay Central? Well, we're really targeting broadcast customers in the first version. And more specifically than that, the application really is targeted at the journalist role, the journalist persona. Um, so we tried to put in all the functionality that a journalist would need to take a story through creation, editing, and publication. Um, so, you know, we really wanted to give them the entire tool set so that they didn't need to switch between different applications, particularly different Avid applications. Very cool, thanks guys. So we'll be coming back to you later on with more updates from the show floor. In the meantime, if you want to learn about Interplay Central, please check out www.avid.com.